What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Track Sounds back again. I got another great tutorial today for all my producers out there. We're going to talk about a cheat code to adding chords to your beats. Let's get into it. So we're going to get into a cheat code for producers that don't know a whole lot about music theory on how to add crazy chords to some of your beats, all from audio to MIDI or however you want to do it. There's a few different ways, but I still highly suggest that you learn music theory. It is so crucial. You'll thank me 10 times over if you take the time to really learn music theory and the basics of piano and things like that. It will help you understand all these things even further and be able to take it to that next level. So I'm gonna just show you the basics of it. This is Scalar 2. It's basically a program that will help you take audio to MIDI. It will show you chords that you should be playing within some of the MIDI or some of the audio you have. I'm gonna show you one way that I've messed with it and used it um, to put on a couple beats. I've been pretty good on the keys, but it's been, been helpful for just a few different tasks or it's maybe some audio that I couldn't figure out all the way. Um, it's a really cool program. So load it up into Logic, this is a VST. Plug in Boutique, so I have a guitar loop from uh, one of my guitar players, Joe, that I'm just gonna throw in there. It's 114 A minor. So, this is the... So one way you could do is you could throw, Scalar has an audio version, you could throw the audio VST on top of it. Hit this record button right here, and then play it and it will detect it. See a minor scale showing all the keys right here. Or you also can just open up a, open up the VST. Drag it in. And then it will show you all the chords right here as well that it does. The bottom, it will show you the chords within the scale. The top shows you the chords that it read. Um, there's a couple of different things that are off about it here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty accurate. So then you can even click the note. So it's pretty cool. Then you can click and drag your pattern. This is where it may get a little funky for some people. Cut it, boom, pull that one over. So you have your chord scale over now. You can group it together if you want. Control, right click. Group it together, join, try, boom. Now you can go into the MIDI, move some of the notes a little off scale if you want, just so it's not such a uh, quantized piano part. I like a little flair to my piano where it actually has a little live feel. So I do that. Then if you even want, you know, you can start taking some notes, chop them down. This is how you can kind of make a melody out of it without knowing what you're really doing. Just play arpeggiate the chords, which is basically playing within the chord you already have. Sometimes it's just trial and error if you're just clicking. Then if you want to duplicate them, pan one to the left, pan one to the right, then start messing with one even more, add more reverb and effects to one, EQ one side, however you want to do it, you can kind of make them sound different, move them a little off the, off the grid even more.
So and these are just straight piano sounds and stuff like that through scale. I have a few other pretty decent sounds in there. They're pianos, synths, um, some guitars, some other things. I still prefer a lot of other VSTs, but there's a lot of really cool parts about it. I could go even further into it, especially if you have any specific questions. So I just wanted to give a quick breakdown and kind of get your juices flowing on some other things out there for producers that they may not know about to keep building up the musicality of their beats. But once again, I still highly recommend you keep learning your music theory because this will make even more sense and all the things that I could go into about it would make more sense with the knowledge of music theory. So that being said, like, comment, subscribe. The stuff I ask every time is it really does help me. Comment below if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any other things that come up that you might be able to help others with on the chords and things like that. I love to hear different tips and tricks for people. And let's continue to grow. Talk to y'all later. Appreciate it.